side by side and start checking the checking up the line and I can get back to him. But uh, just way too much damage to have the speed and do anything at all. I had no right for the so I have no idea what was going on. Uh, this uh, car was so damaged. Left rear was a uh, parachute, the right front fender was gone. You know, I got the restart I needed, pushed the two to the lead, which is what I knew I had to do. And then I just couldn't stay with them. Uh, those guys fell way back behind us. And, you know, I got out there by myself with a 77. I just couldn't make enough speed to push it fast enough to keep up. And then, uh, you know, they came on us so fast from behind those big runners. So way to stop that. And then at the end, I was just praying they'd get two and three wide and I could try to wiggle my way back in there. We got back to eight, but obviously we did more. complete one or two laps to get by the cars that wrecked in that big one that they were in. Um, but I didn't really notice many, but he, he kind of kept me up to date on the points thing. Josh did as I, you know, the last few winding down. So what was the delay, what was the delay line? Because you were not looking at what was going to happen. Um, that's fine. Set up on the box for about an hour or so, and went back to the bus and changed out of my wet clothes and had some dinner. And watched the PGA Tour, so uh, I said there's nothing you can do. I mean, there's no... I've gotten my hand in no use and sitting there and pulling your hair out over it, like, you know, it's not in your control. You, you can only just go out there and hope it gets back racing. I mean, I fully accept the fact that if you're down for at any moment, then we'd be out. You know, you just got to accept those things and, and know that you have no control over it. Uh, so, no point to stress yourself out or out over that. Just, uh, just kind of relax and hope for the best. Was there a 